Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Life is Strange. In the last episode we arrived at... <clears throat> this gallery in San Francisco for the Everyday Heroes thing. We're told we should go chat to some people, so... I suppose I will, but first, let's have a look at this list. Official winners. There I am. Where am I? Along with all the Max other Max Caulfield. <laughs> I should say... <laughs> Brilliant. Artists instead. Hmm. Here, here. Hello, sir. You look suspiciously, Mike. <laughs> oh, God. Now every time I see someone with glasses and a goatee, I'm going to be concerned. Shouldn't do that. That's not I good. Heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here today. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh, mm. shit. Pretentious alert. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Max Caulfield, bravo on your entry. I'm the oh, thank you for Iris N magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details. Oh, this wow, week if that's okay. That's absolutely fine. For your piece. Well, thank you. Um, can I talk to her? No. Okay. How are you going to send me the details? How do you have my details to send me said details? Anyway, moving on. Hello, sir. Not looking at anything in particular. How are you? Oh, he's a baby with a doggy. He's so cute. Oh. How do these galleries afford to rent here? Oh. Uh. Oh. Some of these pictures are quite sad. But I suppose sometimes art is sad. Oh, a buffet. Hmm, champagne. Yeah, I don't really like champagne. Food. What have we got? I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with a little bit of fancy food. Every once in a while, I suppose. Young and grunge. He'll think about those days for the rest of his life in prison. Good. Hmm. <clears throat> Noted photographer and teacher arrested for homicide and kidnapping. Yep, good, good. Well, that's a very old photo of him. He looks like someone completely different. It's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look timeless. Nostalgic melancholy. A Who teenage the girl. Artist? I think it's for some contest. That's cool. Seems pretty mature. Hmm. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway. I was well, very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects to focus. Oh, very smart. Oh, thank you. You know, I remember when I, f I remember playing early in the game, sometime, all those, all those months ago, possibly even a year. I'm not sure how long exactly, but all that time ago when I first started playing the first episode. I saw that photo and I thought to myself, yeah, that's a really good photo. You should enter that. I, I do and when not she did, it's art. brilliant. <laughs> Glad you didn't tear it, like in the other one. Hello, sir. Well, I want to chat I to you. I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. That's quite wonderful. You can speak while drinking. Although I say drinking, it would appear... That, uh, that's just some solid... Is your wine frozen, sir? Because uh, you went to drink it and didn't really get any. Plus you were talking at the same time, so I'm really not sure why you would do that. You concern me, sir. You really do. I'll be watching you, Mr. Gingerhead. Striped jumper man. I wouldn't really be watching you, that would be creepy. But, I've got my proverbial eye on you. Mm. <clears throat> right. How much would you pay for that? <sighs> well, it's not really about the money, is it? Blimey. There's a lot of... If I'd seen... I'd really want to go to the, uh, a gallery like this. Now, this really makes me want to go to one. Hey, woman, um, I want to speak. Me. I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. I've oh, seen thank a you. lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. 
I can't wait to see Aww. much more of your work in the future. Thank you. It's really sweet. It's always nice to hear. It's always good to hear good, uh, good feedback about your work. I mean, even if it's a nice review or something. I know there's a lot of actors who might say that they don't look at their reviews. Um... I don't know why specifically. I'm sure they have good reasons, but which is fair enough. But I suppose part of it is. Ah, I remember I was um, talking to uh, one of my directors once, or he was talking to us, I suppose, uh, the group as a whole, and he was talking about um, why he doesn't read reviews of his work back when he was an actor. I think he's still an actor. He still does acting. I would meant I would probably name drop, but. I'm terrible with names and don't remember his name. Uh, but anyway, he he was talking about how one day he'd done a show and uh, he was brilliant in it and all that. And he got a, a, a wonderful review. And then the next day, uh, in the next show, he'd perform the whole night thinking, oh, I'm brilliant, I'm great, so says this review. And uh, straight afterwards... The director came up to him when he was in the dressing room and said to him, I can't believe "If my you picture is in the same room as all these great images, D do you mind? I'm having a chat here." Um, the director came up to him and said to him, "If you perform like that again, you are fired." Essentially, because he had thought he was so brilliant and fantastic, he was completely out of the moment, which is very important if you're an actor and. Um, because it's very important to be in the moment, to react, uh, as it's often said in, well, a lot of the classes I've been to, um, acting is reacting. You have to be able to play off the emotions of the others, to feel those emotions, and or at least express them. I mean, there's a lot of different theories and such on how is best to act, and it's different for everyone. I mean, acting is very much an expression of self. It, as, in as much as it is an expression of being someone else. How you express whatever character you're playing is really up to you, and you'd have to find whatever method works best for you. Um, but in this case, he had given such a fantastic performance, gotten such a great review, it had all gone to his head, and... Uh, it didn't go well for him because of it. I do anyway, have to appreciate little story my life after over. Everything that happened this week. Oh yeah, rightfully so. Oh look, there's my photo. Let's have a chat with the journalist. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes, I am. Yes. Sorry oh, yes, to bother you, but geez. my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their articles, okay. and I totally that was a did your long, work. slightly now, too long the handshake. Whole ironic selfie I feel. thing is kind of played out, but there's something. Timeless about your images, so I, I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. No, you don't you mean do. talking to me? <laughs> but yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Bad exposure. Talk to other people. Oh, I can so sit. I got was back in high school. I could have done this so much Fair enough. I always Hello, get woman. so inspired whenever I come here. Hey, I love your shot. I just oh, wanted to say congratulations, and I hope you get a lot more attention. Oh, thanks. Hello. Hey, usually these kind of contests, they, uh, they put me to sleep, but I like how this show is about specific actions, you know, not just abstractions. The Zeitgeist is doing some unique stuff this year. The Zeitgeist? I, I, I'm not sure what that is. I probably should know what that is, but I don't. Hello, man. Sorry, I don't know your name. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Oh, okay. I mean, that wasn't what the text said, but sure. Uh, I mean, name your price. I mean, I'll name my price. It's my photo. <laughs> Never mind, moving on. Well, there it is. My work. And there she is to save the day. Hi. <laughs> you did it, Max. Wow. You're a real artist. At least for today. 
No, as long as you have that creative spark, you'll always... Oh, God, what's happening? Oh, God. Oh, it's the tornado again. Oh, God, the controller's going crazy. What the fuck is going on? Is this going to be the, the end hey, of the whole of Arcadia okay? Bay? We lost you there for a second. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh boy, this is not good. Jesus. Oh, you fuck. the ringer off, idiot. Hello? Oh, come on. Please answer. Oh. What? Oh god. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, can you hear me? Hello? Oh, Hello? God, no. Oh, of course everything does go to shit. Oh, my God. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. How do you, how can you die. expect to fix a tornado? The bay is going to be destroyed. Like, really? I really like that there piece of art there. Way to stop this. <laughs> I'm so easily distracted. Anyway, well, we'll we'll see what we can do in the next episode. Bye bye. I mean, really? Is that it? You're no. right. Someone tried to force open the door. <laughs> I swear it's, uh, the no shit, Sherlock. <laughs>